I thought I'd just share a little screencast with you about how great it is to break a transcript up into subclips within Predit. Now, when we break sub break this transcript up in Predit, we're actually creating subclips. Before I get um, a little too far in, we've processed these inside Premiere Pro, and in fact, this particular speaker was processed in Premiere Pro, and he was very, very good. It was very accurate. Uh, and I can just break it into subclips. I'd like to listen to it first. So I can just bring up. Well, my recollection is that for the longest time, I didn't even know that a Bob Moravis existed. I fell for it just like everybody else out there did. Well, then the uh, reality set in, and all of a sudden I realized that the Floyd Lippincott Jr. was a pseudonym for Moravis. And uh, that story of course is been painted a million times and it certainly is one that has given Bob Moravis, Floyd Lippincott Jr. or as I call him Floyd Bob a tremendous following in the world of drag racing. Okay that's clearly an end of a thought. Uh, let's close that off uh, and now I've got the clip subclipped just from that into out uh, and, I'll, and I can just decide to put in some event or theme and so I got autocomplete but also um, that's probably about Floyd Lippincott Jr. in general uh, Floyd is created is found out so we put that Floyd under Floyd is found out autocomplete is great if I actually want to find out this is a feature that I've had for all of about oh, two hours. We thought of it two days ago and Greg built it out today. But if I push shift and uh, question mark, I get a list of all of my, all of the uh, keywords that I've used so I can find out if in case I can't remember what I've used previously, I can make sure I match up my keywords so that I don't end up with too many. But at the moment, I'm just going to get rid of that. Uh, Floyd is found out and I'm ready to move on to the next one. And so on. That's just so easy. It's so easy to put in metadata. Oh, I could um, if I wanted. And I, I'm not doing it in this project, but I can. It's like uh, I could say uh, McClellan finds our Bob is Floyd. Now, when we come back to Final Cut Pro or Premiere Pro, that information will, that will be the name of the subclip that was created. And you'll notice that I have a paper color assigned to anything that's uh, McClellan, Dave McClellan, using a green paper color, so I can immediately tell the difference between speakers, particularly when we come to build a story view. You can see here that uh, Steve Gibbs is actually in a orangey color. Uh, so. Now you also notice that this is, there's something different about this. This particular transcript went through the Adobe Story on location to Premiere Pro. So I started with a transcript with names in it, processed it as if it were a film script inside on location and brought it in. And when we discovered we could do that, because that retains the names properly, see, here's the interviewer and the subject properly named with the names that I gave them inside story, already done. So as soon as we knew that we could do that, I asked Greg to give it to me. Um, now that, uh, so that we break it up automatically on imp import to Predit. So we don't want his identification, so I'm just going to hit Command G, or I could click on Good to get it unselected, um, and Command G again to, because I'm not going to use that. Um, and then I'm not going to use that. So here we go. It's very long take, so we'll look through it. He actually talked all the way down to there. I think that's a little too far for one thought. Certainly one, one transcript to be used. So that's that's a break point. I'm going to use a freight train here. And down here it's uh, F Floyd is born. I think Floyd is born is 30. Uh, freight train and Floyd is created. We can go with both of those. You can see how easy it is. It's so easy to put in metadata that you might actually do it. And the metadata, log notes, call it what you will. 
you might uh, actually do it because it's so easy here you know and remember we're breaking these up to subclips when I send this back to Final Cut Pro not only will I have it the story that we create over here in um, the story view and already we've got the list of all my selects here the Bob Moravis stuff is already properly uh, broken up into transcript elements and these are all of my selects which of course I don't have to work with too much because I can search but more for that for another uh, recording so we're in here and every time uh, we create a new subclip a new frame marker is also a new poster frame is also created uh, and I'll just break that up again just because even though I want to actually pretty much put in that's uh, 30 Floyd is born that's also 30 Floyd is born but here this is uh, Floyd is created and it's case sensitive so if I hit it lower case it doesn't match that actually is something we changed after uh, after me working with it for a while and then there's my next question I don't want that I don't want that false start uh, if I'll start uh, and I'm just going to try that question mark again is there Bob's relationship with his father no so I'm going to start a new Bob's relationship ship with his with his father and I've created a new keyword and I still think that's 30 plot is born and I'm just going to start a new one there because this is uh, this is about his relationship with his father this is really about the winter nationals but because they, they were together when I entered that I've kept Floyd is born um, and the relationship with his father uh, but I don't want that so I'm just going to go winter nationals as a new keyword um, uh, crediting winning I think that's Floyd is born. That's merely just Floyd Joplin Hot Jr. about it, really. Uh, okay, another one I don't want to use. And and you can see that this is actually just extremely simple to go through and add metadata, add log notes that otherwise you wouldn't be able to do. And generally it's been a really great experience I am enjoying this very much it's way more efficient than any other way I've tried to build a paper cut and that's credit you can check it out at assistedediting.com and slash PR capital E D I T download the, the test version which will do everything but save and check out the help document under the help menu it'll explain more and check out the overview videos at assistedediting.com